Hello, welcome to the Maya Tool Belt. This is Michael. In my journey for having a video going over every command and tool in Maya, some videos are going to be shorter than others uh, just because of some tools are not as complex. But I feel like I shouldn't skip those tools, right? So one of the tools I wanted to go over under the mesh menu is called fill hole. Fill hole relatively simple. There's no options involved and this is a polygonal uh, command. So first of all we need a polygonal object with a hole in it. <laughs> so I'll go ahead and, and simplest uh, example probably a cylinder. I'll just make a quick cylinder, scale it up, let's hide the grid just so it's easier to see. I'm just going to right click and hold, choose faces, and I'm just going to select and deselect those. And just, this actually might be a good opportunity to kind of uh, talk about selection since this video is going to be relatively short anyway. But for example, if I wanted to select this cap, these faces, you know, you could go, I'm going to click on this one, shift click that one, shift click that one, shift click, and so on. So you have all of them, but that's kind of a long process. And part of being a good artist with using Maya is efficiency of your time uh, and trying to do things that are uh, simple and quick. Uh, without taking too long when there's a very much quicker and better way of doing things when we try and find those quicker and better ways of doing anything and make sure you make those uh, efficient movements part of your everyday workflow so for example to quickly select this cap I would just simply like this quick movement and and a lot of it has to do with the camera angle like I can drag a box and then holding control deselect and drag a box and these faces are deselected and these faces are remain selected right another thing you could do is let's say you wanted to grab both caps I could select the middle hold shift select the whole thing inverted my selection so just quickly quick ways of uh, selecting groups of polygons any way you can find a way of doing something quickly definitely should do it anyway some select that cap and delete those faces. So now I have a big old hole. So I can go back to object mode here. So this this is the only hole in this object. I can go to mesh, fill hole, and it fills the hole back up with a surface. Okay, and there's a face. And just to be kind of thorough with our demonstration of fill hole, I'm gonna make two holes. Okay, so now I have this cylinder with two holes in it. Mesh, fill hole, and both holes are filled. Of course, both of these holes are relatively flat. So just to, again, show more examples. Again, relatively simple. If you're if you're pretty satisfied that you understand how this tool works, feel free to click away. I'm not going to blame you. But I'm going to keep going a little bit just to kind of show more uh, understanding of how it works and what to expect. So if I were to, say, select this uh, sphere like this and just make a big old gap in it, just big old gouge of removing a bunch of faces like this. Now if I were to fill a hole here, just to make sure you understand what to expect, mesh, fill hole, it doesn't recreate the sphere, right? It doesn't like suddenly, you know, fill in all these edges going around the sphere and down through here like a globe or anything. It just fills one single face in this gap. And that one single face, especially in this case, is not exactly uh, very good <laughs> as far as mesh efficiency and uh, the structure of this model. This is uh, an ingon of a lot of different edges and so on, and it's just not a very good face. This is going to look weird. Your model is not going to be constructed very well. So this would not be a good candidate for fill hole. You, if you wanted to reconstruct this sphere, I would do it a different way than fill hole. But just so you you understand it's not going to undo the destruction of this sphere. It's not going to suddenly make a new sphere. Okay, this is, it's just going to cap the hole, whatever it is. It's a very simple command in that sense. Fill hole under the mesh menu. There's no options or anything to do anything with. Now, if I have this selected, and again, I'm just going to, let's go to a cube, for example. If I have two faces of this cube deleted, again, mesh, fill hole. A single face 
gets filled through here. And it's, again, it, it may look like a, a, the, the cube is filled, but there's no edge through here. It's just one single face here. And if you were to put, try to put something like this in a video game or try to render this, it would look strange. So you have to go in here and, and like actually cut that line through there. And now I have my cube back to normal. Okay, so keep that in mind. So yes, select one face here. I'll delete history. So the history over here in the channel box for each transformation is to bring this back to one, one, one. So again, in the mesh menu, fill hole, we have this under inputs, poly close border one. There's, it's just a history item that shows up for filling that hole up. If I go to attributes, I can look here under poly close border one. We can see here, there's nothing really to display. There's not a whole lot to this tool. That's why I'm kind of, you might be like, I'm just doing the same thing over and over again. Why is he, what is he doing that for? But it's just kind of the same thing. But I want to show you one more thing real quick. So now I have two holes again, right? Now what I've been doing is selecting the object, going to mesh, fill hole and it fills all the holes. But let's say I want to just fill one of the, one of the holes. So I'm going to actually double click on this edge loop around this opening. And then I'll go to mesh. So again, just these edges are selected. Mesh, fill hole. And only the selected hole now is filled. So just make sure that you understand that if you don't want to fill every single gap on the mesh that you have selected, you can select the edges around the hole in question and that will limit the fill hole to only affect that one. You'll see here, actually, you don't even need to have every edge selected. I don't have the one edge selected on this particular uh, opening. Mesh, fill hole, and this hole is left alone, while this is the one that gets filled. So just a little quick thing there. If you have a, a, real, a lot more complex of a hole that you're filling in, lots of edges, and it's a, maybe a chore to select every edge around the opening, you can just select one of them, and that will also trigger Maya to understand that only that hole should be the one affected by this command. Well, in any case, I think that's all there is to it. I can't think of much more to, <laughs> to talk about as far as uh, fill hole goes. There are no options to, again, to speak of. But again, it's under the mesh menu, fill hole. Hope you enjoyed that and got something out of it. Maybe you learned a, little, a thing or two about uh, fill hole. If you have any uh, questions, feel free to put them in the comments below and I can answer those as soon as I'm able to. If you have any suggestions for future video topics, please feel free to add those as well. Like, subscribe, all those kinds of YouTube things, and I will see you next time.